So today we actually had a Nintendo Direct Mini and it showcased a few things. One of the major things in it was Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and we got the announcement that an ARMS character is coming to the game. We don't know which character it is from ARMS yet but this does kind of confirm a bunch of things or more so it deconfirms a bunch of these weird rules that people have made up for the game that deconfirms characters. So people would say that if the game Super Smash Bros Ultimate, if it had a spirit which is these things you collect in the World of Light mode, in fact you collect them throughout the entire game and they'll add like character buffs and stuff like that. They're basically just like 2D images and people would use these to say that oh this character has a spirit that means they are deconfirmed for the game. Or if a character had a me costume, or oh, this character's deconfirmed for the game because they've got a me costume. And it was all these different rules that people would just make up just to deconfirm characters, and it was never outright stated, but so far the rules did align. We never got a character who was a spirit or anything like that. But today, because of arms, it's very likely, because there's many armed spirits and all of that stuff. It's very likely that we're going to get a character from ARMS that is a spirit already, which thus deconfirms the theory. And it also possibly deconfirms the Mii Fighter theory that there's some ARMS Mii Fighter characters, there's Ribbon Girl, and if Ribbon Girl is in the game, then that's deconfirmed. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that Shadow the Hedgehog is a spirit in the game, but he is not deconfirmed anymore. He's an assist trophy, but assist trophies could mean nothing. Springman, the main character from ARMS, is also an assist trophy. And he could very well be making it into the game itself. So it would also deconfirm the theory of if you're an assist trophy, you're not in the game anymore. False. Completely false. I don't know where people threw these rules from because you know Sakurai, he breaks rules every single second. Any character can make it into Smash is how I go by. Any character at all, if Sakurai wants him in and he tries hard enough, can make it into Smash. Therefore, our boy, Shadow the Hedgehog, the boy who we really wanted before the game released as an Echo Fighter and it never, never happened, he could finally be making it into Smash because of all these deconfirmation of these series. He's an assist trophy, but that doesn't matter anymore because of this new ARMS character. So, I'm gonna say, and to be fair, to be fair, I still think it's unlikely that we're gonna get Shadow. I don't know, I just get the sense that Sonic the Hedgehog is a series that Nintendo and Sakurai don't wanna prioritize, because if you didn't know, Nintendo are the ones who are deciding the characters for the game. I think that was stated, though, to be fair, in the last DLC pack, we did get Terry, and it felt like Sakurai decided on that, not Nintendo, but they do say that it's Nintendo who decided the characters, and if you're looking at characters, do you think Nintendo would really go ahead and choose a Sonic the Hedgehog character? Probably not. Nintendo would probably want to do stuff that promotes their system, their games, and not Sonic. Unless we're really lucky, and they really want to promote the new Sonic game that's probably going to come to the Switch this year, maybe? And they'll decide, okay, Sonic game, let's help Sega out. Sega gave us some money. Let's add Shadow the Hedgehog. So this video really is just to be made, just to say that Shadow is still possible, or Tails, or Knuckles, or anyone. Knuckles is still possible, he's an assist trophy, but it's very likely that we can get assist trophies that get ranked up to playable character, and I think that's pretty exciting. To me, Sonic the Hedgehog has always felt like a franchise in Smash that has just not had enough representation, especially when it comes to like music remixes, he just doesn't usually get them. He only ever got one remix, and it was in the original game, and it was Angel Island, and by original game, I meant Super Smash Bros. Brawl, because that's the first game Sonic was in. He had Angel Island, and then the rest is just music taken from the game. We've never had another remix since, so it always felt like Sonic was underappreciated. Sonic also only had Windy Hill and Green Hill, which look very identical aesthetically, and it just it lacks that variation that the Sonic franchise obviously has. Even the newer games, Sonic Forces, they could have easily have put Sunset Heights in there, but they decided not to for unknown reasons other than no one really cares about Sonic at Nintendo, which fair enough I guess, Sonic is kind of irrelevant, so that's Nintendo's mindset right there, which I, I get, I get. I mean with the movie, Sonic's more relevant now, but back then is what I'm talking about. In 2017, Sonic wasn't really super relevant, especially when Sonic Boom tanked the whole franchise for a good few years, and I would argue still have an effect to this very day. 
yeah, you can see why Nintendo would decide to like steer away from Sonic. So they did add the assist trophy, so that always felt a bit weird to me. They added Knuckles, so why would they add Knuckles and then not add Shadow as an Echo Fighter? That will probably be the easiest thing to ever add. And you would definitely get more Sonic fans on board with buying the game itself, so you get more sales. For what I would argue, pretty easy work if it's the same moveset and everything. All it really you need to do is animations, and that's about it. But they decided not to because they hate us. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I know they don't hate us. I just really want Shadow. But that, I, I don't know. It gets me excited for the future, maybe, because Shadow is technically now still on the tables. So is Isaac from Golden Sun. It is still possible. And if you see my reaction video to Shadow, you know I was so upset when he got deconfirmed. But now I'm back with hope. I'm back with hope that they're gonna add Shadow again, even though I know for a 100% fact that he's not coming into the game ever at all, and I'm gonna hold out hope. To be fair, another character I do want is Rex and Pyra and Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2, or honestly, any Xenoblade 2 character I would be 100% happy with, and now that's possible. In fact, that's looking more likely by the day, because ARMS was a character that had previous representation and now they're being added as a character, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 also had music in the past and also had spirits in the game, and now, it could be promoted to an actual character. Oh my god, that's exciting. So let's let's hold out hope together, guys, that Shadow might make it into the game. And if not, then we will be sad forever. But if so, then we are happy. And that's it. That's everything I've got to say. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Let's go, Shadow fans. The Sonic is our Lord and Savior. Catch you in the next one, guys.